Plants, planet, people. Everywhere on Earth, living things depend upon each other. This includes people. Plants, people, animals, and the land all depend on each other. All living things depend on non-living things as well. We would not survive without sunlight and water, without changing weathers, winds and the earth beneath us. The natural places where plants and animals live and depend on each other are called habitats. Plants are an important part of every habitat. Plants grow nearly everywhere. Plants grow in different natural habitats from forests, mountains, bogs, and the coast. Plants even grow in constructed habitats around people, including cities, farms, in our own backyard, in our homes, and schools. We use plants every day too. Just look around you. You could be wearing plants, or sitting on a plant, or using a plant, or even eating a plant. Plants are very important part of their habitats too. Plants help protect the soil and prevent erosion. Plants provide homes and shelters for many animals. They help balance the temperature by keeping the air cool and providing shade for animals. Plants give food and medicine for many creatures, including humans. Plants were the first living organisms on Earth and covered most of the land on the planet and even in the oceans too. Without plants, life on Earth would not be possible for animals or for humans. People and animals need oxygen to live. Plants produce 98% of all the oxygen we breathe. Over half of Canada is covered by the boreal forest, the largest forest in the world. The boreal forest expands across many northern countries and helps produce much of the world's oxygen. The trees and the other plants in the boreal forest are producing so much oxygen for us to breathe, just like the Amazon rainforest in South America. But how do plants produce oxygen? Plants produce oxygen when they make food for themselves through a process called photosynthesis. Plants use three things to make food, sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide from the air. Animals and people like you and me, are breathing out of carbon dioxide right now. Plants absorb water through their roots and absorb sunlight and carbon dioxide through their leaves. Plants use the sunlight to turn the carbon dioxide and water into food. During this process, plants release oxygen into the world. All life is sustained with the energy from the sun. Everything starts with the sun. Our food chains start with the energy of the sun that plants absorb. Plants use this energy to make food, then becomes food for other animals. Those animals become food for other animals. For example, mice love eating berries, such as blueberries. The mouse is one of its favorite foods for a fox, but also a snake. A snake may be eaten by an owl, and the list goes on. Animals may eat a variety of different things, including plants or other animals. All of these living things depend on each other for food and shelter, and the variety of need form a food web. Humans are also part of food webs too. Plants depend on animals too. When animals eat plants and their seeds, they help carry these plants to new areas. Plants also depend on animals like bees to help pollinate their flowers and need carbon dioxide that animals breathe for photosynthesis. Many other needs of plants come from nature. This includes sunlight, water, air, nutrients, and enough space to grow. There are many important relationships between plants, animals, humans, and our planet. We all depend on each other. For many thousands of years, humans have lived in balance with plants and animals on our planet keeping us all healthy. However, humans have disturbed that balance. When we cut down trees and don't plant them back, or destroy plant habitats, or pollute the earth, we have a huge impact on all living things. 
But people are realizing the importance of the relationships between plants, people, and our planet. We need to protect our plant habitats. We can do this by planting trees or gardens and protecting the plants we already have. What are the ways that you can protect the plants around you?